Okay guys, so today we're taking a look at one of the most powerful and privacy-focused AI browsers I've ever tested. It's the first AI-powered private native browser. It's fast, it's modern, and it comes with built-in AI tools that are not plugins or extensions that can genuinely boost your productivity. Like summary tools, grammar checkers, and a whole lot more, it is also multimodal, meaning you can upload files to it and it would understand the content. And the best part, it's secured by the famous Norton's Web Shield. And not just that, but your data is stored locally, so it is completely safe. Now be sure to watch this video till the end because I will show you all the features and show you exactly why this AI browser might replace everything you're currently using. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this. Okay guys, so this is the name of the tool we're gonna be using today and it's called Neo Browser. Now this is the first privacy-centered AI-powered native browser. As you can see, we browse in peace, and this is Norton Neo. Now, you might know this word, Norton, and that is because of the Norton browser or their other services, which are famously some of the most secure services out there. So yes, this is really, really private and secure. So if we slide down, you can see that this is a browser you can trust and the chats and browser history are stored locally. So your data is yours and you are in control. Choose what Neo remembers and what it forgets. And yes, this has Norton Web Shield that blocks malicious sites and phishing even before you click. So yes, this is insanely privacy centric. Now we all know that some of these new AI browsers could actually use your data and use it to train their AI, but this does not. This literally puts your data in your own hands, and it's also shielded by Norton Web Shield, which is literally one of the best privacy-centric browsers out there. You can see that this is browsing reborn with clarity, flow, control, and discovery. So let's cut the chit chat and go on to download Neo today. Then we should be presented with this interface, and yes, you can literally download it for different platforms. You can download for Windows on X64, download for the Apple Silicon, or you can download for Mac on the Intel X64. So let's just go over to download for Windows. Okay guys, so we're onto the setup process after the installation. So as you can see, you first put in your name, so then we can go on to the next section, and you can use this and import your data from either Chrome or Edge, which is nice to have. And once you import your data here, it'll literally be your own, but we don't need that. Then all you need to do is pick a theme. I'm a fan of the dark theme, so we're done with it and the browser has been set up. Okay guys, so once it's set up, you should be presented with this interface. And as you can see, this is really simple and familiar. It's like a combination between a chatbot and a browser, which is like literally what I expected. And in case you're wondering, yes, this is also multimodal. So yes, we could upload files. We could just go in here and search for anything and you can use voice to text. Then over here, you can see your chat history, your browser history, or your image gallery. Then here is where you can set your reminders. So this is an assistant built into the browser. This is basically like an AI power productivity browser that is also privacy centric. Then over here is the integrations. You can integrate it to different platforms. Then as you can see, we have this widget over here. And if we go to the widget settings here, you can see that you can customize the clock, invite friends, add your personalized newsfeed, or you can show the weather. So yes, this is also really highly customizable. And over here, if we go over to the settings, this is for the settings. You can do a whole lot. This is the AI mode, which you can actually toggle off over here. And this is for the shortcuts for you to know how to do different things just from your keyboard. Then in this is the personalization feature, and it has this feature called memories, where once you enable it, it'll literally remember what you've done in the browser. And yes, in case you are wondering, this is secure, so all the data is stored locally. So yes, it'll literally remember anything that you want. You can manage your interest over here. And then in the security option, it does have an ad blocker, which is nice. You can also disable acceptable ads and do a lot of things. Now remember, this is also from Norton, and we all know how famous Norton is for when it comes to privacy. So yes, you can really trust this when it comes to privacy. Then we can just go and ask it for something like this. So you search it, and it takes us over here using a familiar search engine. Then if you find an article, like this article, and we hover over it, you can see this icon here. So once we hover over the icon, you can see that we can either take a peek at the article or summarize the whole article. So if we take a peek in it, you see that you just literally open a small kind of tab for it where we can still read the article without opening it entirely. We could also expand it here to really dive into it. Or if we go back and just summarize it, it'll take us to this sidebar, which also has great contextual awareness. So we have this here, 
and this is basically the summary of the article. Now, this sidebar is very, very important. You can literally summarize anything you want on this sidebar that you can do a whole lot with. As you can see here, you can summarize, you can explain, you can ask it to explain any article, give you the pros and cons in case you want to compare different items, and you can do a whole lot more, including using it to fix grammar mistakes. And no, this is not an extension. This is literally built into the browsers. So unlike other browsers that you have to put in an extension to do things like this for you, this is completely, and I mean completely built into the browser. Then, so if we open up the article and we open up the magic box, by simply clicking on Control L, we see that we have this article here, and we can also ask it to summarize this or explain like I'm five, so we can just say something like this. Send the link and it'll do that in the sidebar. And this is a whole breakdown of the entire article. We can search it and we can copy it. We can share this, we can regenerate it, or we can ask it to read the whole thing aloud. And as you can see, we can literally ask it for any other thing here. And over here, we can disable the context and we can ask it to do whatever. So we can try another article. Let's open a new tab. Now this time, it will use the inline summary where it'll process the result and give it to us. So this is the inline summary here. These are the different sources. We can also go over here and you can search instead and to take us to the usual search engine. And we can open different articles like this. And as always, we can always go over to the chat and make sure that it's selected as context. You can ask it for something like this. And because it's contextually aware, it'll give you the correct answers. As you can see, it has given us the full list. I just said, give me the list. And because of its contextual awareness, it gave us the full list from this article. So we could also do a whole lot with this tool. And there's one more thing I wanna share about the customization of this tool, which is this smart tab grouping. If we switch it off, we see that it doesn't group it as well, but if we turn it on, it should give us a title showing what the tab is about. Like if we go here, you can see this says technology. And then over here is the vertical tab, which you can turn on. And we'll have a full immersive browsing experience and if we need to open a new tab, we can just do this. So yes, this is really, really customizable. So that can help you with a whole lot. Okay, so we have this email here that I'm writing and I can say something like this. So as you can see, this is obviously grammatically challenged. And yes, we can simply open the magic box and go over here to the grammar writing and we send it over to the chat. Then we just copy this and paste it in. And we have this here. I can copy it and paste it here. So yes, this tool is really an AI helper. It's really a browser that isn't just a browser, but it's also a helper that can help boost productivity. And another thing I love about this too is how the AI tools are not intrusive. And this is from Norton, which is known for privacy. So check this tool. It's out right now with the link in the description and like and subscribe for more AI tools like this.